Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was doing a file today for a lady, and I showed her this, and she wanted a little bit more flair, so I made this, and then I just sent her an email to pick out which one she likes. This is as equal, as easy as this, especially if you're just engraving this. So I've got my Time Screw Roman capital S. I got a banner. I'm just going to delete it right now. Those banners are under your polygon tool under banner shapes. And when you get your banner shape, there are several different kind of banners you want or you can use. But I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to kind of drag it along my name. Now I'm going to get back to my pick tool. And I'm going to go to effects uh, envelope. It's going to open up the envelope docker. I'm going to go right here. You need to click on your name or your word and create a new envelope form. And then you get this little arrow. Okay, one thing we need to do, I messed up here. Let's just back up. I'm gonna get, tell me no. I need to convert this to a curve. I'm almost glad I did that so you'll just realize that. Create a new envelope form. And there you go. Then you can take this and hit P and put it at the center of the page. And then what you can do, and what I would suggest doing, then you can hit P and, but the name is all the way to the edge of the wording. So you could do two things. You could make your wording just a little bit smaller, hit P, reduce it down a little bit like this and hit P. And now your wording, it isn't perfect. That isn't the best way to do it. The better way to do it, let's just back up here completely. Let's take this shape and contour it. Let's go to effects, contour. We're going to contour to the inside. Let's say a, a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now what you can do is take your smart fill tool and fill in that shape. And because we're working in the center of the page, you can pretty much put it anywhere you want. And then left click, right click. I'm really going to have to type out my name again. So we'll just delete this name. We'll type out Smith again. Make it the appropriate size. Change it to Times New Romans. There we go. It might be a little bit big. You can kind of see. I think it's going to fit. And then go back to the envelope tool. Create a new envelope. Now, take your original shape and control K and break those two parts apart. Grab the outer one and hit P. Well, it didn't. Let's do this. Grab the inner one. It must not have control K. Control K to break it apart. If you grab on the inner one, it gets the inner one. Now hit P. Now we can go ahead and delete these other lines. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And once again, we have to take that less, that S and convert it to a curve before the virtual segment delete key will work. Now you can take your Smith and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then also you could back up, put it somewhere else. Whoop. Take your text and get it out of the way for just a second. Take all this and go down right to here and double click on it. Make it something non-hairline and let's go 10 points black. And then remember to check Scale with object in case you make it bigger or smaller. That looks pretty good. Hit P and project completed. Now, a couple things you could do just like I did previous. Uh, we'll make a duplicate of that. And you could change it quite a bit just by filling in like that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.